knee bars today. Okay, so um, when I want to um, do the back step, first thing I like to do is sit on this leg, okay, because I don't want Mitch to block me from back stepping by putting this leg up high, okay. If I try and back step while that leg's here, I land on his hook, takes my back, okay. So uh, before I back step, I want to actually sit my, my weight on that leg. Now he can't bother me with that as I step back, okay. Straight away, I'm gonna swing my leg back and hook my knee behind his knee. It stops him from pulling that knee out, okay. Um, and most commonly, people uh, to stop the knee bar, people will cross their feet, okay, like this. Um, so if he doesn't, if he doesn't cross his feet, I can start to pull the leg back straight away and attack the knee bar. It's basically just like an arm bar, but hook the leg. <laughs> Um, okay, but there's a few things that uh, we need to go through to make sure this works. As much as I say knee bars are, uh, yeah, as much as they're effective, uh, it only requires a little, probably like five degrees or ten degrees either way of mesh rotating, and you lose the knee bar altogether. So he twists his hips that way a little bit. Now, when I try to do it, he's gonna, it's just like bending his knee. Again, okay, or sometimes the other way, yeah, and I lose it as well. So as much as it's a like you get a lot of leverage to pull and extend the knee. They have just a small amount of rotation and you can lose the position. So there's a few little things I like to do to make it slightly more high percentage. Um, so we go back. We sit on the leg like this and go back here like this. If I can, instead of going straight for this leg, I know he's going to uh, cross his feet anyway. So I'm actually going to go both hands on the, the opposite leg. I'm going to pull back and I'm going to pull that through. Okay. And this is going to give me better access to the, to the leg here. Okay? I have to shoot my knee through to, to make sure I'm facing my hips towards um, Mish's leg here. But with this leg trap, rotate now. He's a little bit more stuck. Okay? If that leg's free, he can use that to either uh, push off the ground and twist or swing and twist the other way. Okay? So, uh, one thing I like we can do to help stop the rotation is pull that leg in, okay? As I pull the leg, look to pull it like through past your, your knee here. That way, when we go for the knee bar, our hips are facing there, okay? Not here and facing kind of side on right. So, once we're here, we can start to extend. Now, there's one other thing if, that I can do to try to stop Mish from turning. I can put my... Uh, ear next to his foot, like I'm answering the telephone, like this, okay? Uh, might look a bit funny, but this helps stop his rotation out of it as well, okay? So, let's say he freed that leg for whatever reason, and I got this, try and turn, this will stop him turning that way, okay? Um, my, your other hand can hold like around the knee and try to help limit him, sorry, around the heel, which can help try to stop him turning the other way as well. And then while we've got that, we drive our hips in. Should be a nice, easy finish from here. It's kind of easy to finish. You just pop your hips forward and spin. Okay. And once more. From here, uh, finish at the underhook. I'm going to step back, pinch the leg. Okay, like this. Uh, he's crossed his feet or whatever. Doesn't matter even if he doesn't. Both hands are going to grab this leg. I want to pull it through past the line of my knee. Then I triangle my feet nice and tight. And I reach to the leg, my ear next to the foot, both hands holding. Try to turn left or right here, Mish. Okay, he's stuck. We extend and finish the knee bar. Just here like this. Uh, like you're going for a knee cut, underhook. The back step, both hands on the opposite leg. Pull your leg through. Triangle your legs here like this. Okay. Uh, the other way they can get out, apart from rolling, rotating, is if their knee slides below the line of your hips. So they'll never finish a knee bar here. Yeah. Yeah. So you just have to make sure if you triangle nice and tight, it should be very difficult for him to suck his leg out that way. Okay? So from here, I sit forward, put my head next to the toes, gripping the end of the lever here, and then I pop my hips forward, finish the knee bar. Okay? Uh, just a reminder guys, this move from blue belt and above, we can do it in sparring here. So if you're a white belt, you should be doing this in training. 
or have anyone do it to you, but uh, I want you to learn it, so still practice it. Uh, so when you do get your blue belt, then you know what you're looking for. All right, three, two, one. 50-50, basically like this, okay? So this means we're, we're both got the same spot, that's why it's called 50-50, okay? Um, so you can set up knee bars from 50-50 as well. It's probably actually one of the better positions out of all of them to set up a, a knee bar. Um, so uh, we're gonna do one today just from when we're on top, okay? So uh, just for the sake of it, for the guys who've never done it before, all you're gonna do, like you're both sitting, just loop, so both your uh, legs are crossed and then the person's gonna stand up, okay? So from here, I'm gonna try and grab his leg like high in my armpit, just like I'm, uh, as if I'm doing like an ankle lock on the, on the shin a little bit, okay? So usually the person will cross their legs a little bit or, or whatever, uh, we're gonna eventually have to have that, that broken. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and take my knee down towards the mat, but as I do that, I'm trying to follow with my hips. So really, I'm trying to take my hips here, all the way around, so they're facing the other way, and that means I've got the knee bar. Does that make sense? So I'm gonna post, and I start to put my knee down towards the mat as I start to sit on Mish, and I'm gonna start keeping this tight, okay? Once I'm at this angle, it's actually really hard for Mish to like cross his feet and, and recover the, the position again, because I'm high on the, the ankle. If I've gripped like the back of the knee, he'll lock off and now it's actually hard to extend through. So I want to grip like mid shin. Okay? From here, I'm going to scoot my hips out. This one comes on pretty quick, but I'm going to fall straight back. And the knees, the uh, ankle, like my slide my armpit towards the ankle. And because behind the armpit, like there's no weakness from my hands pulling, it's all through my, my hips and my and my core that it's gonna apply the pressure. So this one comes on pretty pretty fast, be careful. This obviously you can try and do your legs as well. Um, then you pretty much like fall into this one. So again, we're here. Sorry, start out here guys, so just cross your feet over like that. This is a position that a lot of advanced guys use a lot. Uh, but if you end up here, this is definitely one of the options, the knee bar. So I'm gonna get up, I'm gonna get like mid shin like this. My aim is to make it kind of so his legs almost straight enough that it's difficult for him to relock his uh, his feet here. And then I'm gonna start scooting my hips over the top. And then as soon as I feel that I can drop my hips down, they fall into the gap and we extend through our back. Okay? Uh, the person will feel uh, it's really hard to defend as long as your armpits high towards the end of the lever. Okay. Any questions on that? See it once more. So we get up, we get high on the ankle. Let's go. Three, two, one. Uh, a few people asked. Uh, I don't want to stand up tall, like, just like when you do an arm bar, like when you don't want the elbow to drop out, so you keep your hips low. Same with the knee bar. Like I don't want to go and then try to sit below because he just keeps his knee bent and I never catch the knee again. So my the whole movement, I'm trying to keep my hips sit low. Okay. Come on, help me. The other thing, like I, I wouldn't go all the way to the ankle with this. I feel like he'll turn his knee out too easily. So I actually kind of want to, like, by, by locking like this, I can stop him rotating his, his knee either way, sort of mid shin, and I'm kind of pulling up. So I'm pulling his knee higher, the opposite to, as I said, I don't want him dropping his knee out. I'm pulling it higher, it's hard for him to lock his feet together as I'm pulling in my hips. And I really, I would fall back this way, not onto my side. Here he's got more chance of freeing it, because it's a bit looser. Uh, so on the way back, it's straight out, just like gravity falling on his leg. <laughs> um, so, uh, Gabriel Large has used a knee bar very similar to this, uh, I think, to win the Worlds last year. Uh, so, this one's really effective. Alright guys.